Well, here it is then. Sampling in the ocean. You know, it feels like years since we last saw each other, and a lot has changed. We've changed. Because now you've been through your pool sessions, and you've earned that first ear infection at Cowles. You've seen a meter tape reeled out by a colorful clown before the inevitable monochromacy of age subdued that youthful vibrance. You don't need to watch this old man paying out a visual metaphor for the inexorable advance of time, hugging the reef closely as a tangible representation of the peaks and valleys that inform the actual extent of the sampling area of existence. No. You're well aware that a lofty account of the sea floor is only an indication of your life's heading and not the complete picture of your journey along the benthos of reality before the ultimate kelp wrap of being. And in our time away, you've been visualizing your meter bar, training your mind to see your scientific jurisdiction and nothing more. You've sacrificed the metric system in favor of the nip to tip, diligently evaluating distances both physical and philosophical against your functional wingspan like that glorious quantum quantitative condor you've become. Science wings outstretched, you fly over your data-driven domain, recognizing that elders once encountered idolatrous cystocyra, where only stephanocystis now remains. You're the next generation, the modern kelp swath conductor, driving the train of algal subsampling forward into a bold new world, where taxonomists got bored and ancient scrolls of data sheets require a Rosetta Stone. Yours are among the first data of this new paradigm, paving a new road over antiquated ideals. Yet, some traditions remain. You respect righteous rituals, and you kneel on the reef like a prayer to the kelp forest, counting stipes like so many columns at least a meter tall in the Macrocystis Cathedral of your sampling soliloquy. Now... Beasts of Babylon will question your methods, and they will taunt you into the sin of observing reality beyond your data sheet. But these Philistines cannot tempt you. No, your mind is eager, young, qualified, uncorrupted by worldly distractions. And your survey path is straight and narrow. Your knowledge of the data sheet's commandments is sound, and you only judge those who you are meant to account for. Because you've studied the laws identifying common culprits using ancient letters written long ago in simpler days. And, armed with these dichotomous keys to the kingdom of invertebrate existence, you boldly shine your lights into the Hadean recesses of the pagan reef, offering salvation to the shadowy and spineless figures that would that their actions not be accounted for in the ledger. You will bring them to scientific justice. And a New Testament has also emerged. The ancients thought that RPCs would lead them to subsampling salvation, but now you put the U in UPC. Pointed processing of primary placeholders purposefully empowers PIs. Epiphytes don't stand a chance in an epiphyte with you. Unlike those whose minds have long since decayed, you can remember multiple numbers in a row, and your notes come only when they're required. You're efficient, because the world depends on you to be so. And you've pushed beyond the carnal into the geologic, from the biological to the mineral, from the living to what the living resemble once the life has left. And without drinking much Pisco yourself, you've become a qualitative connoisseur of contact. You can even assess the value of sand over cobble, casually letting sediment escape through your fingers, like an hourglass, filled with the dust of former titans, casually crushed by the weight of degeneration. Perhaps... You will one day appreciate that you stand on the shoulders of neoprene giants, those that were at one time clean-shaven and are now bearded, once flamboyant and now subdued, talking blindly into the ether in a vague attempt at immortality through the next generation of Science Diver in the face of the inescapable progress of entropy. Hey, uh, hey Patrick? Uh, you want to cool it on the, on the video a bit? It's, it looks like it's getting kind of weird. Yeah? Okay. Okay. But that's not for you now, youngling. Not yet. You're ready now. Steve made sure of it. You will go to the ocean, and you will record its secrets one tank minus 500 PSI at a time. Now get to work, before the unbearable lightness of being catches up to you, too. Swim free. Dive free. Be free.